in the country he belonging to the Janssen twins. On the eve of Christmas, they put bottles on the branches of the trees, drink Yerga nectar, the salted eel milk, and place painted eggs on the windowsill. Then, when daylight is no more, a bell is rung. This means Vader Johan approaches. It has begun. The bell awakens Vader Johan from the bottom of the river. This is where he lives, in a castle made of children's bones. A braid of forty eels brings the wretched one to the surface. Now you can smell him. His odor is that of cod and black licorice. He has the body of a walrus, the sharp teeth of a dolphin, and the legs of countless crabs. He plays a flute made of, you guessed it, children's bones. And in their country, it does not matter if you are naughty or nice, for all the bones taste the same to Vader Johan. Your only hope is to trick Vader Johan into believing you are already dead, and therefore not fresh and tasty. You do this by sleeping in your child coffin. And this is when you pray to the Mongoose King. Oh, Mongoose King, please protect my tender child bones from the jaws of Vader Johan. And please, please enjoy these eggs I have left for you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Uh-oh, Vader Johan can hear your blood. Perhaps you are lucky, and your window eggs and prayers have attracted the Mongoose King. He eats your eggs and challenges Vader Johan to a battle of dance. 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 There is always the chance that the nimble and clever Mongoose King will be victorious. But tonight, he is dancing the cream. And Vader Johan has his Kinderbot feast. The child bone dinner. But the cream? This is the cream that they eat together with their families on 29th December. So a Merry Christmas is had by all. After hearing the story. Once you hear the story of Vader Johan. You must share the story of Vader Johan. Or you'll be consumed by Vader Johan, which is like dying. But it's worse.